Alright, so here I am adding the dyes to my vinegar water mix. The water is pretty hot. Be careful to keep it from boiling. Now you'll notice that I'm putting my purple and my green on two separate ends of the pot. This is to prevent a brown from showing up. I'm going for a sort of purple, green, blue, mossy fairy look. And brown would be okay, but I want to keep it to a minimum. I do this by putting the green and the purple on separate sides, and the blue acts as a barrier between the two. So now I'm just going to let it sit for a couple minutes in this hot water, and come back and check with a white object. The white helps me see if there's any dye lingering. There is, so I'm going to let it sit for another couple minutes. So, now it, you can see it's at a pretty good simmer. I personally would avoid that. I quick turned it off. So now I'm just checking to make sure all the fiber is dyed the way I want it to. It is, and most of the dye is gone. Now I'm going to put the remaining fiber, the next batch, into the same pot because no need to waste good vinegar and hot water. Any remaining dye won't be noticeable because it's the same colorway and the dyes are pretty much exhausted. So here I'm just slowly decreasing the temperature of the wool as we go, making sure to not put any water directly onto the fiber slowly pouring it over. Um, make sure you don't agitate it or wring it out when you're drying it. That makes the wool felt. You don't want that. So next I'm going to show you how gorgeous the two colorways work together. It's amazing to see how unique the two colorways are even though I've used the exact same dye placement, the same primaries, everything. I only dye in primaries because I think that adds to the fun. Now I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope this helps you out.